Welcome everyone, you may be trying to turn on developer mode, but it's not showing up in your settings. I have the iPhone 10 here and the iPhone 12 mini. And if I open up the settings, go to privacy and security, you're going to notice on my iPhone 12 mini, I do have developer mode, but on my iPhone 10, I don't have developer mode. First of all, all devices support developer mode, so it's not like the iPhone 10 is too old. Now, let's troubleshoot. Okay, so first of all, open up the home page of settings. You're then going to find where it says general, and then you're going to find where it says about. If you're running software version 15 or older, the problem is those older software versions do not have developer mode. The fix is you upgrade to iOS 16. But if you're running iOS version 16 or newer and you don't see developer mode, what on earth is going on? This iPhone 10 right here if I go to the about pages settings, is running iOS 16. The problem is in order for developer mode to show up, you must sideload an app. Okay, how on earth do I do that? What app do I sideload? Don't worry, I'll be showing this in the video. So first of all, sideloading apps does require either a Windows or Mac computer. It's not like we go to the app store to download. No, we need a computer in order to do the sideloading. So I'll be moving to my computer and I'll show you the next steps you need to take. On the computer, the first link will bring you to the sideloading website. I'll have it in the description. You're going to scroll all the way down. And if you have a Windows computer, you must download iTunes from this link right here. Just click on the X64, wait for iTunes to download, set it up on your computer, then restart the computer. Now we're going to find here, download side loadly. So you have the Windows download and the Mac download, okay? So select the download for your operating system. You then want to download side loadly, and then we need to set it up. So in the Mac case, we open up the DMG, drag and drop side loadly into the applications folder. On the Windows, you may have a bunch of setup, you know, prompts. Just click on OK, follow the on-screen instructions. Next, we need to head over to supervise.me. Again, it will be in the description. You're going to see developer mode. Click on view and you're going to see the developer mode IPA. So now we're going to click on get. And now you're going to see, do you want to allow downloads? Just click on allow and you're going to see right here this IPA file called developer mode IPA will download. If you see anything here, this is an ad, so you've been redirected, just close out of the redirect. Okay, so we have the IPA file right here. Now we need to open up the sideloadly app onto our computer. For Macs, you do need to right click sideloadly, then click on open, then you'll see the open prompt. If you don't see this prompt, you may need to click on cancel, right click, and then open again, and then click on open. So from here, Sardoli is going to initialize. You can see right here. So now we have this right here, local Anaset problem. This will only show up if you have a Mac computer. So you're going to click on yes and then click on OK. And now you will need to enter in the password for your computer. So what it's doing is it's going to install a mail plugin. So we'll click on allow. And now we need to open up the mail app. Make sure you right click and quit. Then we just need to reopen this one up. Once mail is opened up, you're going to click on mail here, click on preferences, manage plugins, and you'll see the sideloadly plugin.mail bundle. Click on this one, allow access, apply and restart mail. Just make sure while using sideloadly, again, this is all for Mac users only, you have the mail opened up in the background. You can just click on the X and it is still actually opened up in the background. So, you know, you don't need to minimize it. Just click on X. Now we see iDevice and IPA. So now we want to drag and drop the developer mode IPA. We're going to drag and drop it into this field here. Then we're going to see device. So we need to connect our device to the computer. Okay. Once it's connected, make sure you unlock your iPhone, head over to the home screen because you may see a screen which says trust this computer. If you see that tap on trust and then enter in your passcode. So now you can see it's been glitching, but iPhone 16.0, all this information here. Now I'll ask for the Apple account. So in order to sideload, you will need to enter in your Apple ID and password into SideLoadD. If you don't want to do that, I, mean, I can understand. Uh, I recommend you just create a burner Apple ID used for sideloading. This Apple ID is a burner, okay? Uh, it's not an uh, Apple ID I personally use. 
So now we're going to click on start and the side loading process is going to start. So if it asks for the password, you just enter in the passcode in and we'll just wait for the side loading to complete. It may ask for two factor authentication. If it does, you will need to enter that one in. And now we can see done and on your home screen, you should see the side loaded app. So now I'm going to move to the device itself. You do not need to use the computer ever again. If you would like to, you can remove side load. You can remove all of the applications we installed on the computer. We just need the device itself now. On the device itself, you're now going to see this new app just called supervise.me. When you try and open it, you may get unable to verify or you may see untrusted developer. So in order to fix this, you're going to open up the settings app. From here, you're going to find general you're then going to find where it says vpn and device management tap on this one you will see developer app with your apple id tap into this then tap on trust trust again now once we see verified here we should be able to open up the application so once you see developer mode required you are now done developer mode will be in settings so let's open up the settings app and then i'm going to scroll all the way down so I see privacy and security. And I'm going to scroll to the very bottom. And there it is. This was the same iPhone which did not have developer mode on earlier. Now we have the develop mode option. How good does that feel? So tap on the toggle to turn it on. Tap on restart. After the restart, there will be one more prompt. Just tap on turn on and developer mode has been finally turned on. You have fixed the issue where developer mode is not in settings. So if this video helped you out, a big like would be appreciated. The subscribe would also be appreciated. Bye bye.